In this presentation, I'm going to show you an overview of the new features in AutoVision 2.0 machine vision software. We'll take a look at the various tools using the emulator. We'll start by creating a new job. I've already linked it to stored images, so we can go directly into edit mode. AutoVision 2.0 includes three new tools. The Logic tool enables us to apply logic to the other various tools used in a job. Optical Character Verification, or OCV, can be used to check and verify printed text. And the Verification tool allows you to verify symbol quality to ISO 15415, ISO 15416, and AIM DPM standards. New options and features have also been added to the Decode, Count, and Measure tools. Let's start with the Optical Character Verification tool. The OCV tool allows you to check printed text by training it on a known good sample. For example, a label such as this one. Once you've trained the tool, it will compare the trained text to the actual text found on the images. Here is an example of a bad sample. If you click on a character, you can see that the tool has been trained on that character. It compares that to what is actually seen in the image, and then it will find the differences. Call the residue. If there is too much residue, the character will be rejected. This allows you to check printed text for correctness and legibility. The second new tool in AutoVision 2.0 is the Verification tool, which enables inline verification of symbol quality directly after printing. This can be done on 1D and 2D codes to ISO and DPM standards. The Verification tool will provide a detailed quality report with a grade for each code. This example contains a grade 2 code, or grade C, which are two representations of the same value. It also provides you with the parameters described in the standards. The code is measured on these seven parameters, and for each parameter, a grade from A to F is assigned, with A being excellent and F being very poor. As you can see, this particular code has a lower grade and reflectance margin. The third new tool in AutoVision 2.0 is the Logic tool. The Logic tool allows you to make a selection from two results in your machine vision job. In this case, for example, we have a passing 2D code with failing character verification. This causes the entire job to fail. With a Logic tool, you can set up your job to pass when either the printed text is checked correctly or the verification passes. So, in this case, now both would pass. Now you see that the character inspection passes, the verification fails, but the logic tool passes as well. You will now get a digital output when either of these jobs pass. This allows you to tailor the job to your automation system. There are useful new features added to the decode tool, such as the GS1 option. With this tool, you can check whether or not a code has been printed per the GS1 syntax rules. In addition to passing a code that follows those rules, it will also allow you to parse the data into the separate GS1 fields. And you can use those fields either for output or for different purposes, such as matching from within your program. The Measure tool in AutoVision 2.0 now also includes angle measurements. So in addition to measuring width and height, you can also measure a particular angle. For example, to inspect the angle of a label. The count tool also includes some new features. You can now count groups of pixels called blobs. We also have added shape counts, which allows you to train on a certain shape. For example, the R here. You can then count the number of instances of that R. By training on a shape and counting it in the image, you can see how many of those shapes are available. In addition to the new tools, AutoVision 2.0 now includes the new MicroScan Link functionality. This enables you to link parameters to the outside world simply by clicking on the link and then linking it to a value in the global data service. By clicking this link, this parameter will now show up in your PLC for example, through Ethernet IP. But it's also available for commands through RS-232 and Ethernet. The same is true for input parameters. If I click on this tolerance, and I want to set a lower limit, I can do so by simply clicking on the parameter, 
and linking it to a value. This parameter can now be controlled by a command from RS-232 or Ethernet, but also directly by writing into memory on a PLC system. That was an overview of the new tools and features in AutoVision 2.0, which makes the software even more versatile and easier to use. Thanks for watching.